George W. Powers of the 38th Massachusetts Infantry spent a good deal of wartime service in Louisiana, where he witnessed innumerable examples of African Americans making their way to United States lines. On June 9, 1863, in the vicinity of Clinton, it's about 30 miles north of Baton Rouge, near the Mississippi border, he made this entry in his diary. Quote, Friday afternoon, while on picket, I had an opportunity of witnessing a scene quite common in Louisiana. Dash, the desertion of a plantation by the whole body of slaves. He talks about this a number of times in his diary, this very large scale movement when the army is near enough from the plantations to the U.S. Uh, military. A.F. Sperry of the 33rd Iowa Infantry served in the Trans-Mississippi Theater, uh, much of the time in Arkansas, <clears throat> but ended the war in Alabama. As his regiment moved toward Mobile uh, in what he called an interminable wood, he described an old black woman who approached the marching com uh, column and shouted, Glory, hallelujah, the Lord heard our prayers. There's 800 of us praying for you at Mobile. Go on, go on. That's how he quoted her. Sperry described, quote, how the tears coursed down her worn and wrinkled cheeks as she beheld an army which to so great a portion of her race seemed a harbinger of jubilee and almost as the coming of the Lord. It was no new thing to us, he continued in a passage that combined descriptive and introspective elements, to be hailed by these bondsmen as their deliverers. Yet if we sometimes stop to think of it, there would come a strange question, how much we really deserve their gratitude. But thinking is the very least of a soldier's business, and so the incident and its impressions passed out of mind altogether as the important trivialities of our march succeeded.